What's up Beast Fam and welcome to another video. In this video today I'm going to share with you guys a story. So at the end of last year I started this YouTube channel before going on my trip to Europe because it was uni holidays, I had heaps of time and I really wanted to make a YouTube channel. Every day I would wake up early, pumped to make new content, even on those days where I got less than 6 hours sleep. I would still get up, I'd record, I'd hit the gym and I'd edit my videos. I was super driven and hungry. Even on the plane to Paris, I was planning my content for 2019. This video was actually supposed to be back in February as a podcast, but I haven't been able to do that. Ever since coming back from my trip, I found myself slipping from my commitments to posting on YouTube, posting blog posts, and making podcasts. I've been stressed and demotivated and low energy. I just finished uni a few weeks ago, this last semester wasn't that great, I didn't try, I didn't give it my all, and I barely scraped the barrel. Some mornings I would wake up and I would just go back to sleep. I wouldn't wake up until the late afternoon, I'd stay up all night gaming, doing other negative behaviours, wake up late, and repeat the negative cycle over and over. I was paralysed by fear, fear of starting and failing. I wasn't focusing on my goals, and I think some of you will relate. It's contradicting actually, the title of this video is Just Start, and that's what I should have been doing. I should have been doing something, anything. I put myself in a negative mindset, and I convinced myself that I was trapped, that I couldn't escape, and that no one could help me. But over the past few weeks, I've learned that it's truly possible to get anything that you want as long as you do these two things. I'm gonna go over these two things soon, but first I wanna to talk to you about these two books that I've been listening to that might help you. The first book is Take Control of Your Life by Mel Robbins. She discusses how things like anxiety and fear are holding us back from our goals, from our dreams. She talks about how our body gets anxious before our mind does, and it's important to recognize when we're getting anxious so that we can stop it in its tracks. She goes through coaching sessions with people who feel they are stuck and helps them to overcome their fears and to recognize when their anxiety and their fears are creeping up. The second book is The 10x Rule by Grant Cardone. In this book, he discusses how in order to succeed, you have to 10 times your goals. You have to put in 10 times the thought and action in order to succeed. He talks about how being average isn't enough and that you have to be obsessed. You have to be obsessed. You have to put in 10 times more work and effort than anyone else in order to be successful. Both of these books have been really inspirational and motivational and has helped me greatly. If you haven't checked them out, then I recommend you do so. I'm not sponsored by Audible at all, but I'll put the links down for you guys for you to check it out. So back to the two things that I've learned that allows us to get anything that we want. The first thing is that we fix our mindset and our body. A great quote I love is, if you can dream it, you can achieve it, by Walt Disney. In order to achieve our dreams, we have to fix our body and our mindset. It all starts within us. If we always listen to what the mind says, we're going to become a slave to it. You have to fight urges for things that give you short-term pleasure, so things such as sugary foods, alcohol, drugs, and social media. One way to fix our mind is through meditation. Meditation helps us declutter our mind and focus on what's important to us. I find the mornings that I meditate first thing in the morning really help kickstart my day. They help me prep my mind to prepare for the day's challenges and help me conquer the day. The next step is our body, specifically our posture. If my back is slouched, my shoulders are rounded, my head is low, I'm going to put myself in a depressive state, a low energy state which is going to convince me and others that I'm either depressed or in pain. In order to fix this, we want to stand up tall, we want to bring our shoulders back, chest forward, head up. By being in this posture, we're going to feel confident, strong and ready to take the world on. The second point is to just start. Don't focus on how far you are from achieving what you want or how hard it might be. Focus on what you can do now, now in this moment. There are things that we can control in life and then there are things that we can't. 
so it's up to us to take control of the things that we have the power to do so. I hope I didn't rant for too long, but I really wanted to share this with you guys. Remember that if you ever think that you're alone, you're not. You've got me. I'm always down for a chat. Message me, call me, I'll always be here. Much love to you all. Thank you for all the support. I'll catch you in the next video. Fit Beast.